We return to the world of Sonic fan gaming to finally take a look at the visually creative Sonic CB by QWERTY919. Sonic CB is a fan game that has been in active development for around 15 years now, and I feel bad that I'm only getting around to featuring it on the channel now. This is a game that I've had a huge soft spot for, to the point that I've been following its development since its earliest days as a Chaotix fan game before it shifted into Sonic CB. Developed by QWERTY919 of Sonic Nebulous fame, this Sonic fan game feels a little old school in its approach. You see, most modern Sonic fan games that choose a 2D art style generally seem to go with the what if 16-bit Sonic games just continue to be like that approach. Which is absolutely fine, but I really love it when a homebrew developer gets a little weird. Sonic CB is definitely a weird game, in that it clearly riffs on the classic Sonic formula, but adds this wild camera that zooms in and out of the action and tries to frame everything in the most dramatic ways possible. It seems to pull back as you accelerate, which makes for some wonderful moments where you bounce off springs high into the air and gain ridiculous momentum. Sonic CB's other big gimmick is that it asks the question, what if you could actually go into those parallax scrolling layers in the background? There will be multiple opportunities in each stage to explore further into the background, which creates this brilliant sense of depth that is rarely explored in a mainline Sonic game. You'll want to revisit these stages multiple times just to explore. I'm also a big fan of the developer putting bad nicks on the background layers that can fire at you into the foreground. This is a smart use of layering that also creates some challenge for the player. This latest release of Sonic CB is now designated version 3.11, and lets you pick a team of two characters from a roster that includes Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Mighty, Espio and Vector, and you can take them through a traditional stage-by-stage -stage campaign, a two-player split-screen mode, and a time attack mode that challenges you to set the best time on each stage. There are currently four playable stages. One of them has two acts, and the other three are only a single act each, but you get a nice cross-section of what the final game might offer. Sadly, there are no bosses in this current build. Now while I'm a big fan of Sonic CB's crazy camera and exploration of multiple layers, it is a little wonky when compared to a lot of modern 2D Sonic fan games. The physics and momentum aren't quite 16-bit accurate, and will take some getting used to. There's also a bit of a strange disconnect between the sprites and the stage geometry itself. Sometimes objects, badniks, items, or even the player will hover just above the ground, and while it certainly doesn't ruin the experience, it does take the edge off the presentation somewhat. The game is also a little too fond of its spring off into the air for a big wide-angle jump moment, as it shows up in multiple stages and starts to outstay its welcome. Sonic Adventure certainly doesn't keep doing the orca chase sequence over and over just because it's cool, so maybe that moment needs to be used with a little more brevity in the final release. But these complaints are pretty minor in the grand scheme of things. I think Sonic CB is one of those rare Sonic fan games that just feels like something different and it really stands out because of it. Yes, it's a little wonky in the physics department, yes the graphics are largely sourced from existing Sonic games, but the overall experience is one that feels interesting and creative and most importantly, unique. It stands out from the crowd and I really hope we get to see more of it in the future. I feel like we should be celebrating weirder Sonic fan games and I implore you to give this a go if you watched any of this video and thought, oh that looks cool.